like this and go to last I might just fade like those before me When will you forget my past? Got questions, ask me those stories When you need to let me know When you need it, where you go Can I come? Sight. As crazy as that sound, it's the truth. If I can hide it in plain sight and you don't see it, then you'll never see it if it's in plain sight. A lot of people may have questions. Why would they want to lie to us? Why would they want to deceive us like this? If you haven't watched my previous videos, I suggest you get in the description box and start the series from the beginning. At this time, the secrets of secrets is being revealed. Now, about two or three years ago, there was a big movement in the conscious community called Ascension. And everybody was saying that there was a new awakening that was going to come around this time. They were saying that there was a new knowledge of the earth that was going to come around this time. And everybody was making videos on YouTube about the earth moving from third dimension to fifth dimension. I'm here to tell you today, people, that that time is here now. But we will miss it if we're not careful. That's why the Bible say that only a few will make it. You hear that a lot of religions say that only a few people will make it. And what they mean is by that is that only a few people will grasp this plain and simple truth in their lifetime. As I said in the previous video, the only way you can hide something this simple is to complicate it to them. So what I'm telling you here is that that time is now, people. The earth is moving from third dimension to fifth dimension. What do I mean by that? What did we mean by that at the time when that ascension movement was going on? It's revealing itself today that the earth never changed, people, and the earth never will change. For the earth to change in a way that science teaches us that, you know, it's moving into different parts of the cosmos is inaccurate. And I explained that in previous videos. What I want you to realize is that nothing about our reality really changes. Only thing that really changes is our perception of our reality and the way we view it, okay? This is the same earth and the same stars that you're looking at every night that the ancestors and the dinosaurs looked at. But we have evolved to a state to view our reality different. And the way we view our reality will manifest itself in our reality, meaning the way that we view our reality, we will build based upon that viewpoint. So if you look at ancient society, as you can see here and there, it's a lot of cosmological monuments because they were very divine people in tune with the cosmos. Today you see in our societies a lot of police stations, hospitals, clinics, and you know, abortion clinics and, uh, you know, military bases and missile sites and churches and mosques and, um, you know, different things that provide so that that makes right and go on and on. Because the way we view our reality, we have started to shape our reality based on that viewpoint. And if we're not careful, we will continue to create a worse and worse hell than what we are seeing. Now, back to what I'm saying about the earth moving from three to five feet. That change and that shift is only going to take place in the consciousness or the mind or the perception of humanity. It's not going to literally physically take place. The earth is not going to transform. The earthlings are going to transform their viewpoint and the way we look at the earth. And by doing so, then the earth will transform. The earth has no hands and eyes. We are the hands of the earth, okay? And we shape the earth. We build upon the earth and shape 
the reality upon it. So we have to change our viewpoint for the earth to change. It's a symbiotic relationship. And we are man, the manifestors, the ones who build upon the earth. So we have to really have a foundation of truth in our cosmology because the rule of as above, so below is a very real rule. And that rule is being used against us today. Now with everything that's being said, you're gonna understand why there's such a big consistency between Masonic art and ancient cosmology. This is something we miss for years, people. Okay, it's simple and plain. When we compare Masonic art to ancient cosmology, it's clear to see that all of the sciences of the ancients have been hijacked by NASA, by both scientists, and they are indeed being used against us to deceive us about the nature of our cosmos. A lot of people say, why is this important? Well, that's the foundation. If they can fool you about where you are, they can then fool you about what you are. For example, if they say that the cosmos is created from the Big Bang and we're stardust and we're wobbling through space and stuff is clashing into each other with minds of its own, it seems that in their science, in their cosmos, that the creator is not present, there's just meteors and bodies flying everywhere, clashing into each other as if the creator is either chaotic or non-present. Bodies have minds of their own. Um, it separates you from the creator. It really separates you from what the creator really is based on the where. So if they can fool you that this is the nature of the creation, then they can fool you about the nature of the creator, okay? When you look at the ancient design of the cosmos, as you can see, they were comfortable knowing that their feet were on solid, immovable, non-bending ground and that the Creator was, wasn't far away from them. The Creator, okay, was right above our ancient ancestors' head. And I really believe if we knew that today, that we would have a closer relationship to God by bringing God closer to us in our cosmology rather than excluding God from all of our sciences. Because as I mentioned earlier, our viewpoint of the world shapes the reality on the surface. And as you can see in our world today, we clearly need to change our viewpoint. If it's true that we have been lied to for years by those in power, if we're going to really change our viewpoint, the first step is to discard all of the lies that they have given us. Not some of them, all of them. Okay, we know that everything they've given us is not lies because even lies are based in truth. But all of the truth they've given us, they've given it to us with a hidden agenda and motive to support a lot. Therefore, their truths must be discarded also. Now, on your new quest and your new journey to getting truth, you will start on a plain foundation, just as the artist do, with a plain canvas. And we're going to start based on what we can see with our God-given senses a black horizon and we base that foundation upon this truth if your research is based upon truth you will always be led back to the proper answers and to the source but not if it's based on lies and theories so what they have done is hijack the truth and mask it with lies but the truth was always in front of your face they just pointed their fingers in other places that you won't look at what's right in front of you so hopefully this video will help you get closer to the truth and by doing so get closer to the creator, understanding the creation. Hopefully humanity can change our viewpoint and go back to the ancient teachings of the ancestors because our ancestors lived a more slow reality, a more laid back reality. They lived a heaven. Their reality was a paradise. Today, our reality is just another day punching the clock, and we take our little brief vacations paradise once a year, and we're told we'll get eternal paradise when we die. That is not the ancient way, people. We can create heaven here on earth. All we have to do is be open-minded, seek the truth diligently without being biased, and discard all of the lies that we've been told. All you're going to get from your government is theories, and their math is only going to support theories, not fact. And the truth lies in ancient cosmology. And before I get out of here, just to let you know that the pictures you'll be seeing.